Time to set it straight, you know what I'm saying? And there ain't no half stepping. Word, I'm ready. Rapper stepping to me, they wanna get some. But I'm the cane, so yo, you know the outcome. I'm not the victory, they can't get with me. So pick a BC date, cause you're history. I'm the authentic poet to get lyrical. For you to beat me, it's gonna take a miracle. And stepping to me, yo, that's a wrong move. So what you want, huh? And I'm always lurking on Instagram. And so I found this young lady. I slid into her DMs, but it wasn't it wasn't an inappropriate DM slide. It was actually uh, for for business. So so this young lady that's sitting to to my left, uh, Avriana, uh, she is a radio personality here in Nashville. She does a fantastic job. Has a really good coalition with uh, was it Streets ninety nine point seven? Think right. Ninety nine point three. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to um, welcome you. To the show, I'm really, really glad and appreciative of of your time and energy, and uh, you know, thank you for uh, being a part of, of the program. I want to give you, want to, want to have the kids salute you. <laughs> That's um, cute. I like you. I like you. Thank so, you so much for so. So tell us me. about tell us about yourself. So uh, you Nashville. Take your coat off and stay a while. Well, I got my coat on. It's, I'm cold. I'm a I'm a, I'm a cold blooded person. Man. Yeah, I got a little crappy top. Oh, okay, well, we're not. Yeah, we want to show too we're much. Not, we're not doing that type of show. <laughs> well, we are doing that type of show, but not with you. you know, right, 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 right. Um, I'm a Nashville native, uh, born and raised North Nashville to be exact. I am, like you said, currently on Streets 993 as an uh, on here. Ra- on air radio jock host right. so um i'm super excited to be a part of that family shout out to dj c dub who is my um boss um so i'm that's where i'm at right now i have uh, i'm a graduate from middle tennessee state university um bachelor's degree uh, right. from their area um, in mmj so multimedia journalism and um from there i moved straight to la oh you went to la okay. got a uh, state there for a year got my feet wet how did really, you like it out there I was, the west, I was on the west coast for a while uh it was a super huge transition from mm. the south going all the way west uh, 24 hours away from mm. everything i know so uh, a huge adjustment but career wise uh for what we do amazing i, I got to get on several carpets and oh, network nice. uh nice. with a lot of different um people down there in la and still to this day so i'm happy that you i did got lose the accent though you still got the you got the national accent uh look i lost it oh, okay. but i got into that you know i okay. i definitely was talked about in la for my little slang so I, different calibers of lifestyles in la um Go ahead. What station were you on? Were you out there? Uh, you I was on Excel. Oh, in LA? Yeah. I was on the Accelerated Radio, but I didn't right. have no job when okay. I went to LA. I was working at Domino's. All right. Um, Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, working at Domino's uh, fresh and hustling. 30 minutes or less. Yeah, look. It's supposed to be, what, 60 seconds or something like that. No, but uh, I was working at Domino's, and from there, I got into a seat filling. Uh, right. It's this business that they have uh, in L.A. where you get paid cash. Only thing you got to do is show up and sit there for hours. So I was on Dr. Phil. I was on. Uh, um, That's that beautiful person. The right? Real. Right. Uh, I mean, I was on a lot of different shows. Mm. So I just, yeah, from there I was able to create money or make money right. uh, and maintain there. And then once I got the the gist of the industry i was just like all right cool came back to nashville and um started working uh for well for the show pickler and ben but i was particularly ben and kelly's personal assistant uh shout out to them i love them i miss them um but yeah so after that i was i was here and they was able to you know keep me afloat in that in that la lifestyle Mm -hmm. uh yeah Nashville is a lot like LA in some pockets. I mean, it's really. Um, I left here ten years ago and came back. I mean, it's much more cosmopolitan now. Downtown is built up more. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got to have a little bit of bread to live here. For Wasn't, sure, you could be you could be broken living in Nashville ten, fifteen years ago. Now, um, no, I, I'm in the process <laughs> of trying to buy a house and stuff, and, and it's and it's. I've said a lot of profane words while we've, talking to realtors. We've and, uh, definitely grown as a city for sure. Yeah. Um, I do see a lot of like businesses investing in 
biz like these buildings down mm-hmm. here in downtown Nashville. So definitely see the growth. But as far as like being like LA, nah. If they come in here and stay in here, like well now when they move here, then yeah, mm-hmm. I can see. But no, like we're still nothing like LA. LA is its own entity. Well, that's my personal opinion. You know, my personal opinion. But I love home, so I ain't never gonna let nobody be like, well, you know, nah, ain't nothing like Nashville, ain't nothing like Cashville. So So tell us about Avriana, tell us about your show and um kind of some of the topics that you discuss on on your show. We know that you mix in the music in and all of that stuff. Right, right, right. What are some of the things that y'all talk the streets, y'all talking hip hop, y'all talking politics, y'all talking Trump, Biden, yeah. women's lib. What are y'all what are y'all getting into? Black Lives Matter? Like what's what's on the docket? Uh so everybody has their own show and they talk about what they want to talk about. But Avion the personality focuses on like I have um a healthy hour, so I'm on for four hours. So my first hour is dedicated to all holistic healing, uh just healthy like little tips that you can do to stay healthy wow. like uh I give a it's called my this for your that. So I offer um basically like a replacement meal so if you want to go get some chicken how about i you go fry you some cauliflower and toss it in the sauce and make you know so i'll give people my this for that and basically trying to heal uh my people that's listening uh holistically and from the inside and just make sure that we're monitoring what we eat the second hour is all about like you said news politics really the tea is called tea hour time with adriana um, the personality and I talk about whatever we see on Instagram the good the bad the ugly uh, my third hour is about everything Nashville so mm. black businesses in particularly you're going to hear about black businesses a lot uh, I focus on my people the culture a lot so um, no discrimination but I love I love everybody and they know this these people know this but um my platform is solely focused on highlighting what is unseen in Nashville. So we're known for, like we discussed previously, for country music. And it's like, no, we're so much more than that. So that's my duty for Nashville is to expound and create this visual where people can actually see like Nashville is so much more than you know, I mean, we're created from the Jubilee Singers, so like we are the original, the culture, the black people are are the reason why Tennessee or Nashville is called Music City. So I want my people to know that, and so I expound on that in my fourth. I mean, in my third hour, my fourth hour is all about affirmations and manifestations, and this is where positive. Uh, yeah, I, this is where I uh, I have people affirm things with me. Uh, on air now you taking calls live um i don't pers- i don't take calls but some of the other jocks and djs do okay. but for my show in particular no i just do interviews now how often are you are you on is it daily is monday it- through wednesday monday 12 through to wednesday. 4 mm-hmm. that's a how did you get to this in your journey is that just um your experiences, it took a, or have you always been like a super positive person like were you in high school no talking about hey we can't be in all this bs like we gotta no gotta take care of our bodies and our uh, it's definitely uh always been instilled in me as a child i just okay. tapped into that as far as like getting to know my own powers and what works for me and what oh. doesn't work so definitely a lot of hardship in my past uh i've not always been this this person but it works like you know you do trial and error and you go around you live your life a certain way and it then all this stuff happen and then when you switch it up and you do something and you see it actually works you like oh shit like i'm building my own blueprint like this really works so um and it just takes more energy to 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 exude other things and i don't have the time for it so we're gonna do is we're gonna cut to our first break i'm here with with averana um, radio personality on streets 99.3 here in Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to cut to a break. We'll be back with more of the Land State Show after these messages. Oh. Radio show. It's never going to be the same. You dig? And so. Uh, do she, you like sports? I do. Okay. Uh, basketball and football. Uh, and I worked for ESPNU and ESPN3 while I was there. Uh, and I covered all of our home football games and all of our home basketball games as the sideline reporter. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I call games too. Yeah. And I don't, I don't do play by plays. Oh, okay. I don't do, I'm, I literally focused on the game itself. Like I'm asking like, why, you know, now how was that experience? 
Um, I played ball, so it was fun. You know, I, you played I basketball. Did, I did. I okay, was a point guard. Your point guard. Yeah. Were you uh, good? Did you play at MTSU? Guard. No. Oh, okay. No, I'm just saying I played uh, in in middle school, high school, right. AU, and stuff like that. Right. Don't talk too much. You feel me? Like I was just out there, you know. You know what I'm saying? But I, I want to know. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, some, I was some of the best. It's just you come up in here talking about you had some game. You gotta. You gotta yeah, I'm knowledgeable. I used, have, I used to have a little basketball court in here. I would have. Put uh, me up to the test. You to three point shooting for contest. sure. Well, we can do that. We but can go to David Buster's. We can do that any time. You know, if I think is David Buster's used to be one of my sponsors. Like I used to do my show at David Buster's in Phoenix. Man, um, you need to you need in, to get back with them in the bill. It's back like, to you and your experience. So you're doing sideline reporting for for Middle Tennessee. MC, yeah, and uh, I worked for the news. I was the anchor. The news anchor at the um, college station, mm -hmm, okay. MT Ten News. That was my junior year, and I pretty much did that all the way up into my senior year. So oh, that's dope. I did study it. I took all the news classes and all the writing news classes because at first they tried to make me a news, a new like a newspaper writer. All right. No, I want to be. So in front you didn't of like the, the writing aspect as much as you like being on camera. Correct. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, any stories from covering MTSU? Like, what was it like? Are are the players cool? Or are they jerks? Or the coaches cool? Or are they sexist? I mean, what? No, it's not easy to be a woman woman in the sports world. I mean, it's it's a lot of difficult things going on for women uh, that that are talented, especially sisters, talented sisters that are trying to build something to be respected for their craft and not. Focused on their looks or focused on superficial stuff, but hey, you know I'm just as as talented as you, if not much more talented as you. Did you run into any issues like that, or was it just you no know, um, stat quo? I definitely did. All right, um, but I knew who I was, so nice. I, I just you know okay, cool bit. If I can't, you know what I'm saying. If, if I'm fired, cool. Or if you don't need me to do this anymore, fine. Or you know, I just never. I never really went there. Like, I never even gave it energy. So it's like, oh, okay, you tripping because I'm really better than and you. Okay, bet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I've always let it go. But as far as, like, the players, I had classes with, the, with, with these crazy people, basketball uh, and football. So I didn't know every single last one of them. Did I know every single last one of them? Absolutely not. But the ones that I did know showed love. And for whatever reason, in college, I was always like put in the cis zone. I never was came on to in any other aspect than cis, and so I I learned that that was my plus, like that was my niche. You know, that's what like that's how I was able to build these relationships and not build relationships that were with no, you know, with stuff that I need to be involved in. So mm. I um um. Uh, that's what MT taught me as far as like relationships and building relationships and networking and making sure that you are setting, you know, those certain boundaries with different people. So that's my experience. All the, all the players were fun. Like I said, I had class with them and nine times out of 10, they was like, Paige, let me, let me see a paper. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to turn in your paper, but I'm going to reword it, but I, I need you. I need your help. I ain't do my homework. So that's kind of some of the relationships I had with a few of them. So if you're just tuning in, you're whether you're watching on Roku or listening on any of our affiliates around the country, I'm talking to Avriana, the personality on here in Nashville. She's on 99.3 The Streets Radio, and uh, she's talking about healing. She's talking about sports. I didn't know that you had that background. I think that that's dope. I mean, I came up in the sports world. I I had a chance to do media credential and cover teams and stuff like that. Not at the level that you did, but but it's a very it's very interesting being on the sidelines mm -hmm. at games as opposed to watching from like the press box or or the stands. What's the end game for you? What do you want to be when you grow up? You've already a young lady has accomplished a lot. You have your own show. You definitely have the credentials. You've been out in L.A. What do you want to do? Do you want to be? Do you want to be stage seal? Do you want to be Robin Roberts? Do you want to to be, um, I would say Amanda Lewis, but that's before your time. Mm -hmm. But you know, one hundred and six Park. Do you want to be them? Like, what what lane do you want to be in? Because you seem to have talents in the music, talents in the self healing, and talents in the sports. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just want to be Avery on the personality. Uh, 
for one. But as far as like the end goal, I want to have my own game show. Like I want to have 30, 40, feud? 50 uh, seasons of Black You want to create your own game show. Yeah, it's already created. So okay. I just want, I want to have investors and businesses invest into this nice. game show that I want. Because at first I wanted to be on Game Show Network. Y'all ain't going to lie. Like, I was like, I did sports, I did entertainment, and like when I was doing entertainment, I started actually being friends with these celebrities. So it wasn't fun anymore to talk about your friends. And like that line is so thin of wanting to break a story versus right. ha being a real genuine person and knowing that people are human. So I, the holistic and healing, like that's what moved, like when I got more into that, that's what moved me away from sports and from okay. entertainment and God set me at radio and from there I came up with the idea of Black of the Berry game show which is my game show uh, and I wanted to curate something for us by us and a way for me to give back because ultimately wow. you're going to win money wow that's 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 real dope so tell us a little bit about the show itself uh, is there gonna be spinning involved? Is it? Uh, it's is, gonna be uh, how is there I express. Course is there how I explained it to be is a um, your favorite moment of field day when you was in middle school. So it whatever that whatever you get from that is what it will be. Yeah. Entertainment, Lance J, Rampage, Miss Ray Black, the Lance J Radio Show. It's never going to be the same. You dig?